and welcome to the Just For Gamers video game podcast. Episode 231, Big Boy Oil. In this week's episode, we're on it big time. All right. JFGS does decorating and stuff. JFG Alex plays all the games. Every single one of them. There's a lot of stick for Bethesda. And finally, we have a winner. Hello and welcome to the JFG Podcast. This is episode 231. My name is Alex and I'm joined, as ever, by my very good friend, Ash. Hey, buddy. How's it going there? You all right? You all right, cunt? Oh! I thought I'd just throw it out there and be a bit different. Cuts Two, me to the core. 231. Buddy. I'm changing my intro He's changing. Now. He's just decided. I mean, I probably, yeah, probably should stick to the, the standard intro, shouldn't I? Uh, not necessarily. No. Well, yeah, as always, buddy. Feeling good on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Sparking thoughts. Ah! Give me the hope to go on. Hope uh, to. Yeah, it's, it's been a couple of weeks since we've done one of these. Because last week I was like, I can't do it. I'm busy decorating. As, you know, is my life. Uh, you love it. As a property owner. Uh, yeah. One that lives inside a dwelling. Yep. Uh, I need to keep up the standards. I don't know. The wife wanted um, the living room doing. Um, so I had to do that, didn't I? Obviously. Uh, it needed doing. Like, it's a room that we haven't decorated since we moved in. Uh, and it was a bit shitty, to be honest. Had loads of uh, that lined paper everywhere. Not wallpaper, like, you know... Just white paper that you put up and then paint over it to hide the shitty walls behind it, which wasn't great. Um, it was all sounds like, delightful. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous because it just hides the horribleness behind it. So obviously, when you take all that off, you just see all the shitty walls that need smashing down and replastering. So I, I'm pretty sure I've spoken about that on previous podcasts. So yeah, the plastering got done whenever that was, uh, and it was then time to paint. And there was a lot of painting to be done. A lot of scraping was was done to get off uh, previous shit off off old walls. Uh, we didn't um, we didn't get all the walls skimmed. In hindsight, I wish I would have, but it costs more money to do that, bunny. And uh, often the case, yes. I don't have any more money, unfortunately. <clears throat> it, it's all gone. Um, uh, until payday. Actually, payday was yesterday. Uh, no, Monday. So I have money again now. Woo! <laughs> Fucking woo, buddy. Yeah, you woo! know the score. That's, that's the one. You love that shit. Get stuck in. I love that Beautiful. payday. That's when I buy oh, well, all the good beers. And then by the end of the the uh, the month, I'm on the shit beers. But hey, um, yeah, so it was uh, a case of a lot of painting. Uh, so I last weekend, it was a case of move all the furniture out and then I was sanding down picture rails and skirting boards, fucking making it all nice and tidy, sanding walls down, making sure they're all smooth and then during the week, during the evenings uh, until 10 o'clock at night uh, I was painting painting walls multiple times Why not, eh? I mean, you have to uh, if it's just bare plaster, you know, like a bear, bear plaster. It's plaster made bear of plaster. bears. Yeah, that's that was your first mistake. Fluffy plaster. Should have just gone oh, for boy. plain plaster or whatever. Plain plaster you know. would have probably would have, been a would have probably been a better shout. But yeah, it it takes a lot. It soaks it all up and shit. Um, and yeah, it was just a fucking load of painting. And then um, at the weekend, uh, we had the carpet delivered and i fitted that um so that's nice and the room looks really good ish now still missing some wall lights i haven't or we haven't decided on what kind of style 
we want to go for. The wife likes these exposed bulbs. I'm, I'm guessing you've seen them about. They're quite popular these days. Oh, yeah, the uh, the hipster bulb with the yeah, coil in it. I'm not a yep. fan because it hurts my eyes. Because you look at it and you go, oh, that looks nice. And then immediately you're like, that's painful to look at yep. a light. Yep. So I'm quite adamant about not getting these. Um, you just I'm, want some, uh, some I mean, tube lights, <laughs> like in a garage. Yeah, that's, that'll do. That's what you want. Yeah. There you go. I Perfect. mean, to be honest, I will never turn them on because uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of the lamp. I love lamp. Oh, I, you and me both, buddy. I'm, I, I mean, too am a lamp boy. Uh, you can't important. live without a lamp. I mean, I think that's I the know. slogan for lamps. I don't know if it isn't. TM nailed it. I mean, I used to have to turn the main lights on in here when I was doing the hoovering, buddy, but obviously I now I own a uh, vacuum cleaner with headlights. Oh, I don't even need true. to turn it on for that You don't anymore, even need so. that the day and age. No, I mean, don't that's even need it. it. I could just strap a torch to mine, I guess. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same difference. <laughs> just as good. Just yeah. as good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, me and the missus, obviously, uh, uh, not not agreeing on that. Obviously, my opinion doesn't matter. So she went ahead and bought a like the main light, not the wall lights yet, the main lamp in the room, uh, as in the, the main light. She bought one. Well... Like, that's yeah, a was... result of, of years and years of apathy on your part, buddy. You've only got yourself to blame. It's true. Respect. And to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. I, I could just not. just wants a quiet life. Give a shit. Just, I just want to come up leave him alone, to my nice little games. room, <laughs> just... you know, where I'm sitting right now, and just leave me alone. Yeah, let you me know. go upstairs. I'm all right. <laughs> you can you can do what you want, you know, to be honest. Give like, us, whatever. Give um, uh, so yeah, I've, I've had um, a, a great couple of weeks of decorating and arguing over things that aren't really important, which is cool. Like the grand scheme, no, yeah. But, the grand you scheme know, of things. Have a hobby. Who cares, <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, uh, definitely no one. Definitely, exactly. <laughs> um, and I believe I fall into that category of, of no one. Yeah. Good news, though, buddy. Hello? Monday, Tuesday, as in the past two days, I have had a lovely time. Obviously, oh. part most of that time has been at work, which is which hasn't been great. I was up in Manchester again. I had to go to a lady prison. It's not oh. like it is on TV. There, no, I'm sure. It's no. horrible. It's it's a massive shithole, and yep. it's not nice. Uh, but I do believe it's full of lesbians, so, I mean, there is that. But it's not the nice ones you want to see, unfortunately. Well, no, absolutely. I'll, I'll leave that one to you, buddy. Please but continue. that was not the uh, the highlight. The highlight was... <laughs> Imagine if it was. <laughs> that was my... Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be great, would going? it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I, had, um, uh, I had two... Days home alone. I was Macaulay Culkin or whatever is it? Macaulay Culkin? Is that it? There you it's, go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I was yeah. I, I got Macaulay Culkin. I guess for a couple of days on purpose. <laughs> you <got> like Culkin. <laughs> 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 uh, that yeah. sounds nice, buddy. Did you? What do you do? Just sort of pop newspaper down in every room and just tug yourself about, or uh, <laughs> pretty you much, know, yeah. Go to the else. Uh, did, obviously, did a bit of painting because. I love painting. <laughs> I, I can't yeah. get enough. So I, I, I need a little yeah. bit though. I had uh, I had a nice relaxing bath, buddy. I know you're all, you're not a fan of the bath, but I'm a fan. I of haven't the got bath. a bath. Uh, well, that's it, know, isn't it. You could try and or a house to paint. But, you, <laughs> you know, could try and, I live vicariously you know. through you. So uh, yeah, <laughs> keep, keep, going, keep going, buddy. This is uh, yeah. this is all ammo I can I can use in my mind palace later. So, exactly. Yeah. I'm helping yeah. you out right now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so I uh, had a nice relaxing bath. Had a beer in the bath. Watched some, you know, Netflix in the bath. It was it was lovely. Uh, also, I was very confused because the house was like completely silent. Freaked the shit out of me. So I had music playing constantly. I don't understand. Yeah, in every room. <laughs> every room a different song. <laughs> Give this it. is yeah. the uh, the polka room. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna want one of those. This is yeah. the new jazz room. 
Yeah. This absolutely. is the drum and bass room. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as yeah. you go through, you know, various stages of the night, you progress. And then finally, yeah. you en- end up in the meditation room, and uh, all, all is good. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Bit of power. I pipes. mean, this Lovely. was literally meant to be just like, oh, yeah, I had a couple of days off, and I played a load of games. That's all I was going for with this little small section that's escalated into oh, what I beautiful, what buddy. This were, you, were you playing those games in the polka room, or were you, uh, <laughs> we, where, where were you exactly at this point? In I the believe bar? it was the death metal room. Yeah. Oh, shit, the bed. It's yeah. listening to some Pantera. Yeah, the... it's a bit Pantera, a bit of Megadeth going. Yeah, yep. it, was, it was nice. Because uh, I was playing some intense Call of Duty, buddy. Ah! Wow. Yeah. Okay. It, it was cool. I enjoyed it, but I'll talk about that later. Anyway, fuck my life. That's me done. What about you? It's been it's been a real fucking roller coaster. Thanks so much for that, buddy. Yeah, you're, you're uh, so welcome. I mean, we've learned that I did some decorating and had two days off in thirteen yeah, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> in, a, in a roundabout way, that is what we've yeah, all learned. Yeah. So uh, no, well, much appreciated. Bit Thank of filler you so for you. Why not? <laughs> give, give Fuck us. me. Right. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Well, lovely. Uh, I haven't done very much, buddy. I went to a gig at the forum. <laughs> Go on. I went to see I went to see Spectre. That was oh, really nice. good. They're fucking cool band. Chevy cool. Thunder, Chevy, Chevy Thunder. Uh, whatever that means. Um, they meant it. And by mean it, I mean they seemed committed to the idea, although no one really understands it. No so one that does understand. That was nice. Uh, what else? I uh, went for a meal out at the Guinea with its wood fire because it's cold enough now for it that is. to be a thing again. And I was pleased about it. So there you go. When the clocks went back, literally yeah. Monday, the next day, there was ice on my car. I was like, that's it. It's game over. I know. It's I was game like, over, what mate. The shit? What the it? shit? Like, I don't understand it. What a difference it's, a day makes, eh? It's cold and there are wolves chasing me. Yeah. Fuck it was a me. bit much. It's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, Saturday night we went out for a for a quiet the night. Um, Ooh, hello. It 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 was it was a a, a pub crawl with the uh, the Tunny Wells massive buddy. Um, all, all the cool cats were there, and uh, it was uh, it was quite the occasion. Um, there was drinking. There was oh. dancing. Yeah. Um, there was me having an altercation with. <laughs> Barman, well played. Because <laughs> he refused to serve me because he thought I was too drunk. Even though there was someone standing beside me, like shouting and dancing <laughs> on the spot, and another person the other side of me had just c- returned from the men's where he'd been pissing in the sink. Nice. And I was standing there at the bell of last orders, yeah. asking if I could have the weakest beer that they serve. Nice. And th- apparently, that was the time uh, to try and uh, cut me off. Apparently, hey, um, hey, whoa! I was quite angry about, so I just sent the missus up to get the beers instead, and then she, <laughs> nice. uh, she, she was served immediately, yeah. and then just turned around, gave them to me in front of the dude, was like, "Thank you very much." Um, <laughs> just, we just fucking down, it, big old slammed it on the bar you. and left. Yeah, um, suck my fucking balls. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was a fun night. We got shit faced. We went to Cassidy's at like two in the morning, and nice. uh, it was. Very, very funny. Friend of the podcast, Paul, bit worse for wear, I have to say. <laughs> um, that will so happen. Cool. And then uh, happen. Sunday, buddy, immediately following that occasion, uh, everyone's favourite thing ever, the missus's mum was coming over. Oh, um, yes, son. And uh, I was cooking a big old roast, and I thought that that would be the only thing that would motivate me to make it through the day, was to mm-hmm. cook a big roast with all the trimmings. Makes so, sense. Uh, Cooked a big old bird, buddy. Did my own stuffing. Did a did a sage rub uh, on the chicken there. Fucking everything. Pigs in blankets. Giant Yorkshires. It was all there for you. It was all there for you. And, uh, and there you go. That was uh, that's what I've been up to. Um, I probably did stuff like a, a couple of weeks ago. I don't fucking remember that. It's um, true. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be that interesting anyway. What I have done. <laughs> Is play a lot of fucking video games. You've played a lot of games. Oh, I, I have. Oh, what? Also, go on. My steering wheel broke. Broke, didn't it? it oh died. yeah, it died, mate. It was, yeah, that's fucked. It blew now. on Monday night. Wheel Town with friend of the podcast Paul. That thing just went kaboom. There was a smell of smoke, and it was all over. And uh, I was like, <laughs> I can't live without this. <laughs> <In my life. laughs> 
<laughs> so I left it two to three days before yeah. uh, whacking another one on the credit card. Um, it's the way it's done. Heading down at Argos, conveniently located inside Sainsbury's, buddy, and uh, picked up a new one which I had ready in time for game night. Uh, we are now financially in the hole, and I don't regret a second of it. So, Welcome uh, to the hole, buddy. I'm deep go. <laughs> within it. Yeah. Fucking down deep in the hole. Yeah, I'm trying to dig uh, my way out of it, but say. apparently digging whilst in the hole is a bad, bad idea. Well, absolutely. I mean, it's 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 a difficult game. You're in a sort of, uh, yeah, a catch-22 of some description already what in the hole. What is this catch-22 that people it's talk It's catch-22, buddy. You, right. you cannot catch that 22. You just so, can't. Uh, what about the 21? Can I get the... I can catch the 21, but just not the... The 21's long gone, mate. We're talking about the 22 at this point. Are we point, talking about a bus? You can't catch it. The number 22 bus? Is that you what we're on about? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> You can't catch you can't catch it. Fuck it, me. It, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, fuck my life, I guess. Uh, the term gained currency is the title of a 1961 war novel by Joseph uh, Heller. He right. referred to an Air Force rule whereby a pilot continuing to fly combat missions without asking for relief is regarded as insane, yeah, but is considered me. sane enough to continue flying if he does make such a request. Catch-22 there. You're there you go. Guys. That's the law. <laughs> that was obviously me just um, from my brain. I wasn't reading that. Obviously, I didn't hear your keys tapping away on no, Google. It didn't, it, no. didn't, no. it didn't sound Not like I was, I was reading that at all. So, no. uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of video <laughs> games, buddy. I want to talk about them. Before I do, though, um, would you mind answering this hopefully simple question, depending right. on how much you've had? Um, what are you drinking this evening, buddy? Oh, well, my friend over there. I mean, you're not over there. You're fucking hundreds of miles away, but over there on the screen. I am drinking bass this evening. Oh. It's it's the uh, it's a tasty beer that I've had many times. My dad is a huge fan, and so was my grandpa, actually. Uh, uh-uh. it, it's, you know, it's been in the family a long time. But I, I read the back earlier. Interesting fact about bass and its red triangle. It was the first... Uh, ever trademark to be registered in the UK. And that was in wow, okay. 1876. There you go. There you go. My There's dear. some bollocks about it being a rich, fragrant, uh, it has wonderful, uh, a wonderful hoppy bouquet and a bright chestnut hue, um, which uh, that doesn't make any sense to me, um, but I like it and it tastes good. What about you, buddy? What are you drinking this evening? Uh, well, I've just finished um, uh, the dregs of a bottle of white wine. Um, uh, the missus's mother brought over a bottle of rosé, uh, which we don't really um, we don't really drink a lot of rosé. But uh, it's there, so, so you will. <laughs> Used it as a reason not to buy anything else. Yeah, makes um, sense. So yeah, it's, it's footnotes uh, rosé. Um, it's full of luscious pineapple and strawberry flavours and tastes deliciously fruity. Great served with appetisers, summer fruits, chicken, seafood and cheeses. She may have brought it over because I was serving chicken, buddy, but uh, obviously we just put it in a cupboard because we weren't going to drink that. But uh, no. now's the time. Does it go well with gaming podcasts? I it guess? does, it does. That's okay. uh, a little... I've tacked that on the bar and written that audio <laughs> pencil. Just, uh, yeah, um, nice. So, so I'm, I'm all good to go, buddy. Um, the topic for this week's podcast is video games. Um, Indeed it is. Possibly wouldn't realise that at this point. Uh, we are now going to go and talk about some. Whoa, so, uh, one oh. sec. <clears throat> Hello. I need to mention that we are now officially smashing it on YouTube. Oh, Thanks to JJ. What's happened here? Well, obviously, JJ sorts us out all his humble bundle keys. because He, he loves he, it. He just continues to forget to unsubscribe. So he's like, oh, fucking done it again. Bun- bungs us a load. And this month, or the past month we were giving away, I think it was Metal Gear Solid 5 on PC. We had Great a game. lot of interest. And due to that interest, we have now hit triple figures on YouTube. We're up to 101 that's, now, buddy. That's insane by Peter Andre, buddy. That I can't is, believe it. 
I mean, I believe when we hit double figures, like five years ago, or whatever it was, when we hit 10, I was like, that's it, we're done. But apparently not. We are not done yet. They kept coming. They, just, yeah. they can't get enough. I mean, we still get absolutely no views on our YouTube channel, which is fine. And who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's there if anyone but needs it. But it's there. I, it's a number, and I'm validated by that number a little bit, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So... I just want to say thanks to JJ again for obviously chucking us those keys. And thanks to anyone that subscribed to our YouTube channel. We're on there every Welcome week. To the party. We're on it right now, I think. We're, maybe. Uh, we're live streaming on, on yeah. there right now, as well you as can, Twitch. Can, and, um, and if you want, you can watch the live stream on Thursday, or any day really. It hasn't got to be a Thursday. Uh, again, on our YouTube channel, if you can't wait till Friday to hear the edited version. Which, yep. to be honest, isn't really edited anymore. Because I can't be asked. No, well, who can be bothered <laughs> with that sort of thing? No, no. The answer, of course, is no cunt. That's so, true. Uh, yeah. No cunt. That's me. That's, That's me again. Yeah. Anyway, buddy, <laughs> video games you were talking about, and apparently you've played loads of them. So I fucking have. We yeah, should let's probably, go and do that. We should probably go do that. So, uh, yeah, uh, do you want to get the ball rolling, buddy, or shall I? I say we go for you, then me, then us. Okay, sounds good to me. Because um, I've got one, well, technically <laughs> two. I'm, I want to say three. I don't know. I've been we'll see what happens. You've played more. I've played quite a lot of games. Um, I will go through them, and I'll start with this. Uh, Felix the Reaper. Um, is that a Game Pass game, game? It's a Game Pass game. Yeah, um, yeah. Very beautiful art style and fully narrated from start to finish by Sir Patrick Stewart, which Ooh. was hugely unlikely. Um, I didn't really believe that it could possibly be him because I didn't understand why it would be him. Um, well, no one would. <clears throat> this is a puzzle game. Um, I don't know if it's that fun, but... <laughs> Great it's stuff. Quite a, quite a clever puzzle game. <laughs> I, th- um, I feel like puzzle games should be more of a challenge than fun. Obviously, it needs to have some sort of fun to the challenge. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's obviously it comes down to personal preference. I think, and uh, on, on this occasion, I would say that the uh, the challenge outweighs the fun. Um, okay. I don't know. It's uh, it's a nice concept. It's all to do with shadows. You are um, essentially some sort of afterlife worker and you are given contracts where you have to make sure that certain people die uh, perhaps they uh, is it like somehow, hitman uh, not really it's more like setting <laughs> setting up the world so that they will die um, oh okay okay gotcha so you're you come in in like a lift um, from the ground um, Patrick Stewart gives you a new contract and uh, for example um there's a guy shooting an arrow at uh a deer and everything pauses and you have to um get Kill around to guy. the deer so you can move the deer uh, <laughs> and the arrow ends up hitting a man who is killed um and <laughs> and to do that you have to operate only in the shadows so there oh, is a light source stealth. it's an isometric nice. game uh, there's a light source off the screen, and <clears throat> and you have to stay in those shadows. And those shadows, there's various different heights of bits of scenery that cast shadows. That acts as your path. And then on the bumper, you can move the world round um, by 90 degrees. Um, but that obviously changes where all the shadows lie. And you need to make sure that when you switch the world round, you are still going to be in a shadow. So that's kind of how the the minute to minute gameplay works. There's various things you can pick up to cast shadows. You need to put them in strategic positions so that when you spin the world round, you uh, can still stand where you're standing, move forwards and try and set the world up so that people die. And that's the game. Um, And if you do that, then he dances around. And if you complete the level, then it goes all disco. The whole floor becomes like a light-up dance floor. And it uh, plays some tasty, cheeky beats at you. Um, And all of that sort of stuff is very good. Uh, It's very very, um, well put together and funny and and so on. 
and the whole thing's very good like production wise um and enjoyable and slick but that gameplay i don't know uh, well let's put it this way i i played it for like a couple of hours i haven't really had much desire to go back to it <laughs> okay so there it is it's it's cool and if if you really enjoy, like you'll know straight away if it's your sort of game uh, and and if you hit it off with it then i think you'll like have a fucking great time it was getting more and more complex and and interesting um it's also got a, a all of the sort of speed running stuff that you would want fault sort of stuff you can hold a button down to sort of virtually see where the shadows are going to go you can do like uh, runs where you don't use that at all or runs where because you know if you spin it around and you are in the light then it sort of goes oh no and then spins back and that counts as like a fault so you can go on like zero fault runs for example yeah. um so yeah all in all <laughs> it's it's a it's a good game uh i, I just not convinced it's uh it's completely my sort of game but um well worth a go if you've got the game pass on uh, on the xbox um yeah and very well put together and patrick stewart's in it so that's pretty cool nice that that sounds very cool buddy <clears throat> it is it's decent good art style and um quite fun um from there <laughs> let's talk about shadow complex which is a weird thing to be talking about but uh <laughs> It's a really good game. Uh, you knew that you've uh, you've played through it, but yeah, uh, I have. It's uh, it's been on my Game Pass for a while, and uh, it's fucking awesome. It's a really good game. Um, I'm glad you liked it because it's a game that I played on the 360 <laughs> fucking years ago. Like, must be what 11 years ago or something like that. I don't know. Uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed this game from start to finish. Uh, I, th- I thought the art style and the, the graphics and everything looked amazing on, on the 360 at the time. I'm, I'm not too sure. Is it a remaster? Uh, no, it's uh, it's just the original game. And, okay. um, <clears throat> it's, it, you know, the art style was strong in the first place. So mm. that really makes up for the fact that, you you know, you're looking at some slightly distorted texturing and that sort of thing at this point, especially yeah. upscaled to, to 4K. But um it's uh, it's uh, it looks it looks quite nice still like it's fine um but and, and it can it just controls really nice like it's just really slick and um responsive um i really like the sort of 2.5 dness of it the way that you can run into a room and shoot enemies in the background as well as like left and right despite it kind of being a, a side scroller yeah um, and then the way that they've got the the map uh, where you need to go and the way the levels are built um, means that they successfully created what is essentially like a dungeon crawler the way you have to backtrack and stuff, but yeah. that not be annoying. Um, it isn't annoying. It's it, it's <laughs> just fine. Like the quality of life stuff they've done there means that I don't find it frustrating like I do with a lot of uh, sort of roguelike esque sort of uh, yeah. dungeon crawlery games. Um, <clears throat> cool weapons, cool boss fights. Um, and it's voiced by uh, what's his face who um, does all of the games, Uncharted. Um, Nathan Drake. Yeah. Voice actor does Destiny is now as well, doesn't Nolan he? Nolan North. There you go. The, does the ghost? Yeah. I don't even. He does. A, he does, does he? a cracking job of uh, of the the main guy. Yeah, he does. In, uh, so yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's great. It's well I thought worth it was a through. fucking awesome <clears throat> game. Like I, I played so much of that game. Well, obviously, I, I went through, completed all of it, and got all the upgrades and stuff like that. I, I hope you stick with it because it is. It, it's a really cool. Even though it is that like Metroidvania kind of style of game, which I know you're not too keen on. Not usually, yeah. um, but it, I, I don't feel like it, it. It punishes you too much. Kind of like Hollow Knight was. That was a bit fucking intense for me. It's a bit it's, much, a bit mazy. Yeah, this is kind of a bit more straightforward. Um, totally. In that way, um, shape, yeah, form. it's just fairly. Yeah, it's just quality of life stuff. It's just it's just easy for you, and yeah, um, and that's cool. Uh, and it stands up really, really well, uh, even after all these years. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty close to the end anyway. So uh, nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, very quickly, ukulele. Um, I'd heard lots and lots of bad things about ukulele. Spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie. 
Um, uh, second one is out or coming out soon is apparently excellent and basically is the game that this one should have been. Um, but I still thought I might be able to extract some enjoyment out of it and it hit Game Pass, so I thought, fuck it. Um, it's shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. It's just, it's really shit. It's just really it, shit. Okay. It's just really shit. It controls shit. It looks shit. It plays shit. Uh, I have no desire to play it ever again. I deleted it within half an hour of installing it. It's just there rubbish. There you go. That'll do. It's rubbish. Um, oh. Don't play it. So, yeah, there you go. Ukulele there. Um, what you should play oh, uh, is uh, Lonely Mountains Downhill, buddy. Um, this thing is fucking awesome. Yeah, this is really? It looks crazy. Fucking like... awesome game. Uh, it is a Trials esque. Yeah, downhill mountain biking game, uh, except uh, it's on a 3D plane uh, with the bike kind of uh, the camera kind of fixed position, and you can have two different control methods: either left is left and right is right, or aim the stick the direction you want the bike to go. Uh, and I got kind of got on better with that sort of method. So it, if you want to sort of go behind yourself rather than hitting left or right, you just aim behind yourself, and then it spins him round. Um, it's kind of, I don't know how to describe it really, but um, it, it goes where the stick is pointing rather than sort of turning left and right specifically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a downhill mountain biking game. It's kind of quite zoomed out. Um, it operates in a sort of trial-like fashion. There's checkpoints. If you hit stuff, then he dies bloodily, and it's a fault, <laughs> and you have to restart from previous checkpoint. Um, there's a whole leaderboards and... Uh, challenges system here so uh complete this course in three minutes to get a new bike or um do this that or the other there's shortcuts everywhere there's hundreds of routes it looks great it controls really nicely um and yeah it's just incredibly challenging how quick can you go down this thing you hold right trigger to go you hold left trigger to break um you can uh sprint with uh with a and that sort of makes you go real fast but you can't turn so you've got to kind of apply that at the right moment and yeah it's just a really interesting like the the mountain that you're coming down there's all these shortcuts and sub routes but they've got their own pitfalls and challenges sometimes it's like i could maybe go down there but is that too much of a drop am i gonna die if i do um <laughs> and just the whole way that the whole thing controls like the physics engine is really robust for such a sort of tiny indie game to the point where it really feels genuine uh you know skidding down this mountain um it's really bare bones graphically, but it it just works. It's a, just an example of a game setting out to do one specific thing uh, and just fucking nailing it. It's uh, it's really fun, compelling, enjoyable game. I highly recommend it to uh, to everyone. It's nice. It's genre defining as well. Like it's not really sort of pigeonholed in a specific one. It's pretty yeah. closer to like a like a sort of mobile challenge game than uh, like a racing game or a sports game or anything like that. It's just, yeah, it kind of does for mountain biking what um, like Ollie Ollie did for skateboarding, skateboarding games. Skateboarding, yeah, yeah. That's probably oh, how nice. I kind of compare it. Uh, um, cool. It's great. Well, <laughs> I've good. got that installed now. Thank you very much. I'll try that. See, no I, I, I installed that Descenders, which is the oh, other, yeah. my, my, uh, other mountain biking game. Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I haven't um, played it. It like from the videos, it looks okay. I, I I wanted something with stunts and stuff, or some kind of extreme sport game. Uh, you know, I'm always on the prowl, buddy. Uh, yeah, I mean they're but, very different games. That's yeah, more totally. of a sort of behind the bike. Yeah, um, gun it down the hill as fast as you yeah. can, kind of thing. Adrenaline. Let's put it. Down. This is more of a you know like a trials Cutesy, puzzly funny, kind of thing. Yeah, no, um, it looks really cool. From what it's I can great. see of it. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Cool. Very nice game. Um, next, Concrete Genie, buddy. Uh, this this is a game that is a PlayStation first-party exclusive, and um, I showed a trailer of this to the missus, uh, and she was like, I must play this game now. Um, and uh, I was like, no. Because I'm not paying full price for this game, uh, and then you are just, crazy. 
she produced a uh, a game voucher that she got for her birthday back in August that she'd forgotten about, buddy. Up until what? Then. So we uh, bought some PSN credit, whacked it on there, and picked it up. You're fucking crazy, son. And we have completed Concrete G. Oh, <laughs> wow, cool. Go on. Oh, all right, then. So uh, th- this game looks really cool. It's some sort of, I don't know, urban setting, I'd say. Is it? And the whole yeah. premise is you draw stuff and it comes to life. Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, so you're this kid in a... Uh, it's like a fishing town with like a cannery and a lighthouse and various different areas. Um, everyone's kind of moved out because uh, there was a huge oil spill off the coast and it basically wrecked the town. All the Fucking big shut. companies moved away. ruining everything. Yeah, fucking big, big boy oil. Um, and big boy oil, so- is that the... the- <laughs> <laughs> That's the name, the name of the podcast. Yeah. Big okay, Boy cool. Oil. Nice. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, you are still hanging about this town. Uh, it's deserted and abandoned. The only other people kind of there are, are other sort of kids just playing around in the town because it's been like everyone else has moved away. Um, and yeah, you are the sort of weird kid. You've got your little scrapbook and you do lots of like doodling and shit uh, you get bullied by the other kids um, and then uh, you stumble upon where well, you're basically forced up to the lighthouse which is considered haunted by the, all the other bully kids um, yeah and you're introduced to a genie uh, which is like these genies kind of live in the walls um, so they kind of go from wall to wall uh, it gives you like a paintbrush and uh, yeah basically uh, the the various gameplay mechanics uh, go from kind of zone to zone. You need to light up all of the uh, light bulbs that are switched off in various zones, uh, and you do this by d- painting on the walls. You use the um, like the the six axis motion in the uh, DualShock Four to do that. Uh, you okay. can also do it in VR. You can play this game in VR. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but apparently it's very good, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. Um, nice. But yeah, so you've got lots of sort of stock designs, like sort of stamps almost in Photoshop. Uh, you can draw all over the walls. Everything is uh, stays there forever. It's all you know. It's, it's it, anything you put on a wall any, anywhere in the game will. It's that's it. You've basically so you can basically color all over the game yourself and make it look however you want, which is really cool. Um, and then various different mechanics uh, allow you to basically build more genies, uh, little cheeky genies. You can kind of design them yourself, put weird ears on them. You collect lots of um, bits of scrap paper with designs on them to expand your arsenal of like stock designs that you can use. Uh, and then you can bring them to life, and they've got various different powers. So um, a lot of the game involves you getting a genie from like area to area by sort of painting on the walls. Um, they can only go like between connected buildings, so there's a sort of puzzle element there. There's a lot of like, I need to close this door down so the genie can get across to here, so that he can zap something and that'll raise a platform. Um, the minute-to-minute gameplay is very sort of, um, I don't know. It's it's a third-person game. It's kind of twitchy to control. You get used to it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. Probably Infamous. It probably I'd yeah. say it plays yeah, 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 yeah. a little bit like Infamous in in terms of the actual control scheme. Um, and yeah, it's it's really cool. I don't want to spoil anything. It's a relatively new game, but mm-hmm. uh, it's a really fun sort of ten-hour jaunt through the campaign. There, um, uh, uh, quite a nice story. Uh, some really sort of wonderfully dark moments as well, and it kind of just keeps giving you more and more uh, powers and things to work with. Different types of genies. Uh, eventually, you end up in a position where you you've kind of got a sort of uh, rollerblading-esque kind of mechanic and you can kind of shoot shit and that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> that sounds ace. It's wonderful. Uh, it, it's a beautiful game, uh, yeah. art style-wise. They've they've done some brilliant work with... Uh, well, certainly the, the faces of the characters stands out massively in that the whole thing's, you know, 3D polygonal, as you would expect, but the actual mm-hmm. faces and facial expressions are like a 2D cartoon. Like They're like sort of five frames a second rather than the, the rest of the world being 30. So it's just got a really cool art style to it. It's one of the most colourful games you'll ever see in your life. And, um, yeah, everything just works really well. It's a, just a joy 
to play through. Brilliant one for the kids. Like absolutely like PG game this. You can nice. you know that sounds kids good to me. can get a huge kick out of it. Oh, um, cool. And uh, yeah, we just we just loved it. We played all the way through and uh, the missus I came home from work today and she's been working from home today with bunny ears um, and uh, <laughs> seems to be going after all the fucking collectibles at this point. There buddy. you so go. That's what that's she does. That's the sign of a good game, buddy. And, Givens. Uh, yeah, get them collectibles. It's fucking cool. Uh, it's just just a unique experience and you can't yeah. say that very often you know, no. these days. So. No, no, true. So, oh, yeah. buddy, that, that sounds fucking awesome, that game. I can't wait to get stuck into it, to be honest. It's it's really nice. Uh, loads of mm. twists and turns, loads of sort of diversity to it, and um, and plays really nice, and also runs better than I was expecting on the base platform because there's a lot going on graphically there. Um, you get some you get some mild slowdown in places, but uh, nothing too jarring and nothing game breaking. It's uh, it, it runs pretty well considering how how great it looks. Nice, given. Uh, so that's me, buddy. Um, you seem to have been playing Call of Duty. Do you want to... Um, I've been playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the new one. How, how has one. this happened and uh, well, what's I it like? I have my ways, my friend, of playing these games. And uh, <laughs> I've managed to be playing this game. Um, yeah, like uh, you've played, uh, you know, a lot of nice games. So uh, I thought I'd uh, take it the other way and play a game where it's just about shooting dudes in the face. Or, yeah. or, tr- or trying to. Um, so, yeah, I, I have pumped about eight hours uh, into the multiplayer. I've only played the multiplayer. I haven't played the co-op or the campaign yet. But I have had heard, or I have heard, extremely good things uh, about both of these things. Uh, so I'm only going to really comment on the multiplayer, obviously, right now. Uh, firstly, fuck me, this game looks amazing. The, like on the PS4 Pro, this game it, it is beautiful. It's one of the best looking shooters I've ever played. It's it's so crisp, clean, and runs at uh, sixty with no issues. I haven't seen any kind of lagginess or you know screen tearing or stuttering or you know skipped frames. It's it's just been. Incredible. Now, someone will probably say, Ash, it runs at 30, but um, whatever. It- no, it, run, it runs 60. And, <laughs> I'm pretty and sure, yeah. I can, I can um, expand on that as well as a Go base on. PS4 console player who played uh, a good couple of hours of the open beta last month to, mm-hmm. and say that also ran buttery smooth. Uh, no, it's- I didn't notice any problems at all. Like They've clearly got a fucking beautifully robust game engine it's, here, haven't it's, they? It's incredibly Silky. impressive. Um, yeah. Yeah, the movement on this game uh, is fantastic as well. Uh, it's obviously you can adjust all your settings to whatever preferences you want if you want to turn slower or faster. So obviously, I cranked mine up a little bit because, uh, uh, well, I I like to play with uh, faster, twitchy, turny speeds. Uh, as I kind of trained my mind to do that when I started playing a lot of Destiny, uh, especially in the PvP. Uh, to the run-up to this, actually, last week uh, in Destiny 2 was Iron Banner week, which is all PvP. I played like a whole week of Iron Banner, uh, and it made me realise that I really enjoy shooting dudes in the face. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, you get that like competitiveness or whatever, even though I don't take it as serious or get angry anymore, which is a nice place to be. So uh, it kind of jewed me up to, to playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, so yeah, graphically, this game is fantastic. It runs really well. The the guns feel, you know, decent. They don't feel like your, you know, your, your Black Ops just spray kind of, you, you know. They didn't feel like actual guns, I would say, uh, in like Black Ops and things like that. It, it, well, to me, they didn't feel beefy enough in no they weren't steeped in reality they were almost uh closer to sci-fi fucking, yeah like whatever yeah fucking star wars sort of pew pew guns yeah exactly well this obviously uh the the time to kill uh is still quite high uh i mean low in this it's still a fast time to kill um yeah but the the weapons themselves have that you know density have the 
the thickness or, or whatever the just word. Just weight to them. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Weight's probably a better word to describe it um, to them. Uh, so I, I've been mainly using uh, the M4A1, which was always a favorite of mine in previous, uh, well, previous Modern Warfare's. Uh, but I have dabbled in uh, SMGs. They they come in handy in tight corners. Uh, I did a bit of sniping. That didn't go well because I'm shit with a sniper. Uh, and I refuse to use a shotgun because I'm not a cunt, buddy. Um, it but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah, the guns feel good. The movement feels good. Um, there seems to be an endless amount of unlocks for these guns. I think they go up to, like, level 70 uh, gun customization has gone a lot further now than it previously has. Uh, so you can have five um, perks or whatever attachments uh, on each gun, uh, varying from muzzles, optics, magazines, perks, grips, underbarrels. There's just a hell of a lot of customization. Uh, in this game, which as, you know, a fan of like RPGs and RPG shooters or MMO RPG shooters or whatever, whatever you want to call Destiny and other games where I like to, you know, build builds like The Division and stuff like that. Um, it, it's giving me something that I'm like, okay, well, if I want to improve this on my gun, then I need to get to level whatever. And then I've got that kind of thing. I know it's just fucking playing the game and leveling up, but it's nice. Like after every game that I play, it's like I'm, I'm getting something back. You know, I'm not just filling up one meter. There's like several things going on at the same time. It's giving me constant gratification, let's say, um, which, which is nice. It's really good. Uh, well, it makes me feel good. Like I'm like, yeah, good jobby kind of thing. Um, Going from, like, the customizations of the guns, obviously there's loads of aesthetics and stuff like that. Now, I believe there is some sort of game pass or battle pass or something coming to this, but, I mean, as long as it doesn't introduce shit into the game that's going to change the gameplay or whatever, then fine, do it, I don't care. I'm not going to buy it, I'm just going to play the game because it's fucking awesome, buddy. This is one of the best shooters that I've played in recent times. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, the new 3232, I think it's called Ground War, is on a battlefield level, I would say, of awesomeness. Uh, yeah. Because it is battlefield, you know. There's five points on the map. You have to control them all. Uh, you can spawn on your squad mates. You can spawn at whatever point, um, whatever points you have control of. It's uh, they've got vehicles in there. They got tanks. They got helicopters. They they got it's 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 like Battlefield, but playing it in COD. Now the difference being is obviously regen health. You haven't got to um, have a medical or anything like that. There's no classes, but it feels good. It works. It's a game mode where you know I feel that Battlefield made fantastic back in the day, but then. They took it too far. They they had too many players on a map. The the landscape was too vast or whatever. Um, whereas this feels like a decent sized map. You know, you can get around it. You can have incredible vantage points. Like you can chopper down onto a roof just like Battlefield did. I know this isn't anything new, but for Call of Duty, obviously it is new. And, no, I've always preferred that COD engine as well to the Battlefield one. Everything just feels better in it. It was the same yeah. with uh, like Black I mean, Cow. Black Cow, yeah. <laughs> this the, the, this game mode really, really works. Uh, I, I've played uh, a fair chunk of Team be- Deathmatch. They've got 20 versus 20 Team Deathmatch as well, which is a bit fucking frantic, but good. Um, and my favourite one at the moment is uh, Demolition, which is your three-point standard map. Go at it. It's good. It's really good. I like objective-based uh, games because, you know, it means you've got something to push for. Um, you, you're not just going to have, like, campers all over the place. You are going to get campers. It's part of the game. I mean, uh, you should have times where you stand still and then you, have, you should have times when you're running around like a dickhead. Um, but, yeah, that, that dom- domination is great. Uh, I was going to say something else, but it's gone from my brain now. So, oh, well, that's about it, I guess. I'm sure that's I'll cool, think man. It in a second. 
it's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? It's like, great. Neither of us are big fans oh, of uh, gone. That sort. Of, oh, go ahead if you've remembered. No, no. Good. I was just going to say that the maps are pretty cool as well. Um, lots of diversity in there. Uh, you, you've got quite a few set in London, uh, Piccadilly like circus, which is mental. Um, th- th- yeah, th- they've got rid of the three lanes, buddy. They've gone back to yeah, I know modern yeah. warfare, which was one of the biggest things that I like about it. Um, but yeah, Piccadilly, uh, Hackney, which is like a, a fucking, I don't know, shit place in Hackney, I guess. Shit hell. <laughs> uh, there's like crates and stuff knocking about. It, it's, it's a really cool map. And once again, they, they've clearly thought about this because like it is adding verticality to, to these maps that really for me is making the big difference. Um, they're, they're, they're just really well thought out. It's, it's, it's a very, very solid multiplayer game, this. And I can see myself playing it a lot more. That's a fucking cool, man. Like I, I as you, you know, it was probably what like four or five weeks ago um, mm. that we were talking about, and I was saying like, yeah, <laughs> this game is really good, and you kind yeah, of, was, and I was everyone was blown surprised away to hear by me it. Say it. It. It was, yeah, it was weird, and, and yeah. it is. It's, it's just a fucking great shooter. Yeah, um, um, and I, and I completely agree with everything you said. Like I, I was like, no, he can't. He's got to be pulling my leg right now. He's like <laughs> fucking. It's April Fools or something that he's going about this, but no, it's you're absolutely right. It's it's a cracking game. Very, very good. Very, very good multiplayer. Uh, the campaign looks very interesting to me as well. Yeah, it's campaign definitely looks something that awesome. we'll, we'll pick up when it drops down. Um, Gibbons, hundred um, percent. I, I just, it's just in general, I don't really want to play competitive multiplayer. On no, a it's basis. not your bag, so, baby. Um, but I, regardless of what I want to play, I can still see when something's really fucking nailing it. And uh, and yeah, and you're absolutely right in everything that you've said. Like it just feels, just feels really good. It just feels like they've got yeah. it perfectly balanced in terms of the controls. Um, yeah, and, and it looks the bomb as well. It just looks fucking awesome. So yeah, uh, I have to say though, like the first night that I played it, my my kill death ratio was fucking terrible. I think it was 0.5. I have now brought that back to a 1.2. <laughs> so strong. It it took me a while to get used to this game. It's like I said, it's it's not that you you need to know when to push and when to like stop. Um, one of the big changes I think was um. With the minimap. Now, uh, previously, it used to be when people shot, they would show up on the minimap. Now, uh, I, see, I'm not a COD, you know, connoisseur or whatever. Uh, now, I believe that they added the, you know, the the compass at the top of the map. I know they did that for Black Cow, but I don't know if they did it for other multiplayer things. But uh, that, if, when someone shoots, they show up in the compass above you now. And however big, like, the diamond is, is how close you are. So it's a constant thing of looking at the diamond and also the minimap. So it's a lot of multitasking whilst trying to navigate the map and stuff like that. It's It's clever. It's very good. It seems to work for me. Well, Gibbons. sometimes. <laughs> Let's just say, buddy. Yeah. yeah um, so, buddy, apart from that, um, oh, a, a, another game came out on Friday um, called The Outer Worlds. and Not to be confused with The Outer Wilds, which no. uh, I did indeed do that a couple yes, of weeks ago. that uh, will happen. But um, no, this is The Outer Worlds. This, and- this is The Outer Worlds and uh, came out on Game Pass. Um you know, day one on Game Pass, buddy. That is, and um, yeah, I've I've played about ten hours of this as well this week. So <laughs> I've, 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 I've managed to play a lot hours. of games over the past four or five days, Gibbons, which has been buddy. nice. Mainly because I haven't had kids or a wife in the house. Um, where do you want to go with this? Because obviously, I've just rambled on for ages. Do you want to kick things off with your first thoughts about this? I'll give you a hot take. Obviously, I'm only a couple of hours Ooh, in, so it's kind take. of uh, early doors for me. Um, this game is uh, is Fallout, but it works properly. Um, <laughs> that, that's that in a nutshell, buddy. Basically, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a first person open world ish uh, RPG uh, from Obsidian. Uh, they made Fallout New Vegas. Uh, this is their latest offering. They are bethesda in this offering, which is probably why the game works properly. Um, Gibbons. And uh, it feels a lot like Fallout to me. 
Um, it's got some clever twists on the formula. Certainly, um, I'm a big fan of the sort of backstory of it, where uh, essentially uh, everything's gone hugely corporate to the point yeah. where people you're speaking to seem to have sort of stock lines and that they have to sort of almost uh, say <laughs> company esque sort of things yeah. and advertising esque sort of things. Um, but uh, Whatever you want to say about it, essentially, it is a yeah, it's a first-person sci-fi RPG. It has an incredibly robust um, like quest system with uh, fully voiced uh, dialogue, and then your dialogue. You've got multiple dialogue trees, which seems to actually have a bearing on on how other yeah, people treat you. It really um, does. The uh, it, they really leaned heavily into the D and D ness of it in a sort of um, you know the way that Bethesda kind of used to I suppose, um, <laughs> but in terms of uh, how everything's kind of worked out based on your character, the character creation I found quite fun, and then you can I kind thought of it was add fantastic the character creation how it comes about in the storyline I thought that was really good. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, you're the, you're essentially fish out of water, and it feels very much to me like a sort of uh, land of the blind, one-eyed man is king kind of scenario where yeah. you're you're kind of, um, well, uh, escape podded uh, into a world where everyone's essentially been brainwashed and living their lives in a very weird sort of um, regimental. Uh, Everything is like capitalist, and everyone has to abide by the the sort of laws of of corporatism. Um, and you're this essentially, you can yeah. be this weird fucking free spirit who just yeah, comes in and just challenges all, all of it. Um, yeah, because they're all part of they are part of the company. Their their lives are now the company. They, they are to the company. Oh yeah, they're they are owned by the company. Kind of thing. Yeah, it's funny. It's very funny. Um, some real good humor in here, and. Uh, yeah, just just really impressive, like what you can do. I've been chucking points at my dialogue options, and it's That's really fun to just fuck with I everyone. Did. Yeah, <laughs> like be able to lie to people all the time yeah. and then just like swallow it because they're so kind of naive. And yeah. as I said, like the one eyed man is king thing, where you you've got information that they can't even comprehend so you yeah. can sort of lie to them and threaten them and it's it's very entertaining but um more than that the the gun plays excellent uh the yes. diversity of weapons is 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 excellent um and uh yeah i mean in in no way is it even similar to uh to a bethesda game in that respect in that this feels like a proper shooter uh, in the bits between the dialogue, yeah, um, because that was one of the downfalls of Fallout. I feel like the the gunplay just wasn't there. Like they yeah. they had you know the world, the environment, obviously, um, the dialogue, the different options, how you could play that game completely. You, you, you've got all your RPG elements of your stats and things. How you can tailor it to how you want to be, but yeah, the gunplay just wasn't the greatest. Where this. This feels like a first-person shooter when you shoot. It does. It feels decent. The AI feels decent, and uh, it's got stealth mechanics. You can hide in bushes and stuff. Um, it's got melee stuff that the, the melee, you know, melee weapons feel really sort of robust yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, it's just very satisfying, and and all of these things combine to create a, a, just a nice place to be, really, in terms of a single-player campaign. It's it's just comforting when something works so well, when a game's kind of operates so sort of slickly, and um, but it's got that sort of familiarity in terms mm. of the the way that it's set up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for me, sort of two hours in, I, I think it's it's a wonderful experience. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I do think it's a little devoid of its own original ideas, um, and I do think that I was expecting it to be a little bit more cutting and a little bit funnier in terms of the dialogue. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it, I think it's doing everything at, at a sort of eight out of ten level. Um, and for that, I think that it's going to be a wonderful game to play through, but. It's not. I don't. I don't think it's like a just because they've kind of nobbled all of these different things. Yeah. There's there's nothing that's absolutely blowing me away. Um, no, totally. Uh, other it, than it, the it, fact it, that it's a game that um, I've been brainwashed to believe you can't really make work yeah. properly. <laughs> yeah. Um, there should be millions works. of bugs. Yeah. Things should be um, going wrong left, right, and center. Yeah. It's just it's just a really slick product. 
basically. Yes, and they marketed smooth. it as such as well. Yeah. It's not got loads of different, like, it didn't have loads of random additions. They didn't market it with DLC. There's no, no. microtransactions. They just basically made a video game and then, and then sold that video game. And that's kind of fucking crazy as well uh, at this point, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that's that's how I feel about it, buddy. I'm really enjoying it, and I know that I'm going to put loads of hours into it. But I don't, I don't think it's like the most amazing thing ever. Um, how how have you been getting on? Obviously, you're you know four times further into it than I am. How yeah, do you feel? Th- thoroughly. Still, uh, yeah, still really enjoying it. To be honest, uh, going through, it, I I loved. Uh, I, well, I loved, I love um, these type of games where you can get fully immersed in these new worlds, experiencing all new things finding out more and more about what's going on unraveling all the different stories and sidelines of uh, or side, uh, side stories of the various people you come across um one thing i do need to say is i i really really like how side quests just evolve naturally in this mm-hmm. game uh yeah. so uh it you have your main quest and obviously then you you have to talk to xyz uh, and while you're talking to X, they're like, well, yeah, I can do that, but you need to do something for me first. I mean, yeah, you could say that that's quite guided, but I have found just talking to random people sometimes, they're like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, can you help me do this or whatever? And then because I've done that, further in the story, I've got something that, you know, I feel like I shouldn't have, like I've, I've got an advantage over yeah. if, if I hadn't have done that kind of thing just by exploring. Now it doesn't matter if I had done that or not. I still would have been able to progress in the storyline, but because I have, I can now do this instead of that or whatever. Absolutely. Now, like you, I also spec'd heavily on the dialogue with the lying and the intelligence or, or whatever it is. I can't remember the three stats that are in there. Uh, and I've got mine pretty much up to all up to 50. Like I just, just pumped it all into that with a bit of guns and stuff. And now this is my own fault. Um, because I've done that, <laughs> I, I'm finding it a lot easier to not get into confrontations. Um, so I'm not doing as much shooting as I'd like to, but that's because I've chosen not to, which is a, like a stupid thing to say. Um, because obviously I could just not use those uh, dialogue options. I could go with something else, but if I use that, I get more XP. And well, it's, it's that threat, isn't it? You can you can threaten someone, and basically like they'll back yeah, down they, they, from a there's, conflict straight there's away. There's always they, well, not always. There's there's ways around it and things like that. And I'm like, oh damn! And now I'm feeling I kind of wish I hadn't have done that. I'd like to be shooting more dudes because, like you say, the shooting mechanics in this game are really good. Um, I, I guess that's why I always did that in Bethesda games because. You know, the the combat mechanics weren't as great like in Skyrim and Fallout and stuff like that. So I was just like, oh, I just want to get around it. You know, I just want to get onto the next bit, get get that quest done or something. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I think that having that option there is, is really cool. I, it really annoys me when there's something that's greyed out and I'm like, oh, fuck's sake, I can't, I can't choose that thing. I yeah, haven't got my yeah. melee abilities up to whatever stat or something like that. But it is what it is. You play play the style that you want to play. Um, I I uh, started a like my my initial build that I, I I wanted to make was a stealth mechanic guy, uh, not a mechanic as in like a fixer. Like it would just just to use the stealth aspect of the game, um, yeah. because that's another thing that this this game does quite well is the stealth. Um, when you alert an enemy, a, a meter comes above their head, kind of like dishonored. Uh, I would say. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you get bonus points for taking people out stealthily and things like that. It's very cool. Uh, later in the game, you get a like holographic suit. Um, you can imagine what that does. Uh, yeah. And it, it allows you to get into restricted areas. Uh, and, you know, there, there's another aspect of, uh, you know, the, the, the stealth uh, in this game. The, this game's got a lot of things that I didn't think it would have. Obviously, you've got your standard, um, your stats, um, your armor and uh, weapons degrade after time, so you have to repair them. There's a mod system in there that works really well um, with all your different things like 
lightning and energy and well same thing but you know what i'm saying different things you can add to your, to your weapons and things like that uh the companions uh, are very good i think i've got four a choice of four or five companions now um and having them boosts they can boost your stats uh in certain areas which unlocks more stuff which is always good or you can you can into like there's stats for them that you can change as well which is cool. Once again, tailoring how you want to play the game. Uh, you can make them take more focus on the enemies or the opposite. You can take more focus uh, from enemies or they can have better abilities and, and whatnot. And it just, you can it feels change like a game that you, it, it's just willing you to do what you want. Like play, yeah. out, like to convert this RPG as, as it should be, man. Like into this, this is your special experience. This is your character. You're playing it exactly how you want to. And the game yeah. bends over backwards to accommodate you, doesn't it? Like for yeah. however you want to play it. Yeah. I, uh, it's, it's, it's very, very good. Uh, art style fantastic love it uh i kind of like the fact that it's not one big open world like it's these you, you fly to different planets and different silos or, or whatever uh, and experience that area and then right that's done i'll go over there and then you're like i need to go back over to that one to finish this quest off and stuff like that i i'm such a massive sucker though for the side quests and i wish i wasn't because i just i want to get through this game in a relatively quick time because obviously I want to be playing other games as well, but it's just me. Like I, I, I get a side quest. So I'm like, oh well, I'm just here. I might as well just go and do that. And then you know, but hey ho, that like it just means there's there's a lot to do. It seems like in this game, um, yeah, it's it's incredible. And the fact that it's on Game Pass, uh, a month of that you could smash it out. That's three ninety nine for a month on PC, and you're gonna play a really really good. RPG, if you like yeah. space, I guess. Probably Future worth space. bringing in uh, Cosmic Dad at this point, who uh, yeah, had, yeah. Was, was was chatting about it in the old Discord this week. Uh, you can get on our Discord, buddies. It's uh, you, you can find it from our website, thejfgpodcast.co.uk. It's also linked on Twitch and I think probably YouTube as well. Um, and I always put a link to it in the podcast description now. There you go. So it's right there. Just scroll down. It's all there for you. If you uh, so it. yeah, Cosmic Dad, he's been tucking in as well, uh, and uh, he had this to say. Uh, I'd watched a couple of videos beforehand, and I thought it looked very meh, but you're right, playing it is something else entirely. The movement of the character feels just right. The gunplay, uh, holy shit, that is so much better than any Fallout <laughs> game ever. Yeah. All the guns feel different, and having no skill in an attribute really does make you shit at it. Uh, loving the vibe of the first world. I love how the side quests appear as a result of your dialogue trees. Um, love how they intertwine with the main quest objectives. Yeah, it's totally. really well put together from a narrative perspective. Great world feel too. Uh, I've had some nasty and some not so nasty bugs, but I'm about four hours in now and it's already making me think about it outside of the playtime, which I was not expecting in the slightest. Uh, well worth three ninety nine for a playthrough. Yeah, so, uh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I think when I I was talking about in the Discord, uh, I'm, I said one of the facts of uh, I, I feel so underpowered at the beginning uh, when I was in any kind of gunfight. First thing I do, like uh, when you land on the thing, like you have to go down do a little mission, and when you get to just start exploring, the first thing I do, I'm like, oh, there's some sort of wreckage over there. I go and, and have a look at it. And there's these big fucking beasts there. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, I'll just take them on. This will be easy. I just got this pistol. I think I picked up a shotgun as well, and I just got pretty much wiped out. So I had to Nunched. run and yeah, I I ran and hid under the ship, and then slowly just papped away at them, killed three of them, ran down there, found out there was another three, ran back, ran out of ammo. So I had to stay under the ship, run out, hit them with my fucking sword, then run back in, get healed up again. It didn't go well. And from that moment, I was like, right, this game's going to be tough in shooting. Uh, but obviously, as you progress through, get some better guns, uh, get your companions as well. Your companions have like a spe uh, special ability, which you can use as well, which is really cool. So like one of the first ones that I got had like a massive electric hammer. So you press the button, whammy, on the electric hammer it goes. They get <laughs> smashed out and then you can finish them off. It's cool. It's really, really good, this game. 
It's great. Uh, Bugs-wise, yeah. uh, for me, obviously, I'm, I'm only a couple of hours in. Uh, I've only come across one bug so far, and that was uh, where it wouldn't let me remove my starting pistol from my inventory slots, which was really annoying. Oh, um, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> it was just locked there uh, for ages, which was incredibly annoying because I had uh, since then had found another identical pistol that has... Uh, more power, you know, yeah, does more yeah. damage. Um, yeah. Which, I, I, but I couldn't remove the previous one from the slot. <laughs> so cycling between them, I didn't know which one was the powerful one and which one was the weak one, which was really <laughs> fucking annoying. Uh, but I just it loaded into a different area, and then all of a sudden, the next time I went into my Popped inventory, it, it let me remove it. So nice. uh, I I haven't experienced one bug in this game yet, and I I find that pretty, incredible, uh, pretty stable yeah. as well. The engine doesn't it? It's, yeah, um, it really does. This is a this is a great game. It's really fun. Um, it's kind of uh, almost a throwback game, really, to mm. to to what uh, RPGs kind of uh, used to be with before all the bullshit and when yeah. they uh, used to release them uh, finished and with all of the content included. So uh, yeah, it's if you're old school, then you absolutely want to get in on this. And uh, yeah. Uh, it's it's just really fun and 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 being on Game Pass is you know that service is fucking awesome. It's insane. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> if if you want to subscribe to something, that's the one right now. Absolutely. I'm right. sorry, like there's nothing that comes anywhere near it, especially on PC for four pounds a month. It's nothing. Yeah, and uh, you know PlayStation obviously going hard on uh, on PS Now at this point. Yeah, of, they are. Uh, they're prime the, time ads. Uh, yeah, and the price drop still, gre- stuff, still greedy. It? Still wouldn't go low <laughs> enough. Like there's still it still had to be more than everything else. Yeah, and they have not got the back catalogue to back that up. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I just think it's so troublesome uh, trying to salvage that service after you've basically like willfully abandoned it for several years like they've essentially for many many years they've gone uh you can you can subscribe you can, to this yeah, service to if this you're a cunt, cunt yeah. uh, and everyone else will ignore it and yeah. now they're like oh look at it you oh. know it's like fuck off you know yeah balls dip uh sony's had way way better uh software this uh, you see they're getting rid cycle. of their tv streaming service as well is it view yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so they didn't work they've out had much it. better game releases this generation to yes, uh, Microsoft. True. But since Matrix was shown the door, uh, it's it's been strength to strength in the Film decisions the that they've made. Spencer, you. Yeah, with the hardware that they had in place already, they've made almost perfect decisions, like all the major decisions. And uh, Game Pass is is a revelation, and I'm sure that they'll totally. ruin it over time. Um, but at this moment in time, it's it's fantastic. And uh, The Outer Worlds is yet another reason to uh, subscribe. I happily subscribe at full price uh, and have <laughs> been doing it. for over a year. Like It's the gift that keeps on giving. Every time I fire that thing up, which is you know maybe twice a week, there's, there's some new games two to or play, three mate. more games to try out game. on there. Happy days. Um, wonderful service. Brilliant experience. And, uh, and as Gibbons. Slay says, like, yeah, it's on PC as well, so it's there for you. It's all good. So yeah, oh, uh, that's, fuck me. Wait, uh, that's a mammoth, lot of games. Mammoth Jesus. fucking games, buddy. Time to move on. Let's go and talk about something else, shall we? What games? And now it's time for the news. 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 Fucking news. Number one. Number one. Number one, number one, number one, number one. Uh, WWE 2K20 uh, has been absolutely fucking destroyed by reviewers and uh, gamers alike for its myriad of bugs. Plenty Yay. of them game breaking. Uh, I've seen uh, hilarious videos online. Um, this is one of the buggiest messes to be released. Uh, certainly this year. I mean, to be honest, it was. Was it 2016, the year of the bug? Like, where everything was fucked when it came out? Um, it's It's been a while, but this... Uh, it's been a little while, I'm going to say. This is right up there. This is a, an absolute shit show. Um, oh, yeah. The release has been received so poorly, uh, with so many complaints, uh, Sony has been issuing refunds to players who are unhappy. That's unprecedented <laughs> for them to publicly <laughs> do that. Uh, I'm trying to think Sony- when that last happened. I can't oh. remember. They're an absolute bunch of assholes, Sony. They'll they'll 
They'll never give you a refund on anything. No. Uh, we've had, we've got friends whose accounts have been hacked uh, who didn't receive any sort of refund on software that was purchased once yeah. their account had been fucking taken over. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's it's unprecedented, but. But yeah, there's, there's, there were even people posting videos of them getting their refund, going through the process, speaking to someone on like the chat on the PlayStation website yeah. or whatever, just so people would believe them because it just seemed very unlikely. But yeah. this game is so fucked that even Sony will give you a refund if you buy it on the <laughs> PlayStation Store. Um, uh, 2K is issued a statement saying it's aware of the issues um, uh, and they will be patched in upcoming... Uh, <laughs> Patches and updates, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm sure they that's will. That's all right, then, isn't mm, it? That's fine, you know. Yeah. yeah, give me your money. Have you seen many of these? Like the fucking, yeah, even the character creator with like the, the, the eyeballs on the their eyeballs head and out shit. and the teeth out and stuff like that. It's just <sighs> fucking terrible. I watched one where everyone was operating on like half sized planes, so they were all the same size as they would normally be, but they were all walking around as if they were. Uh, like on their knees, but their, their legs were like in. And then he threw him up towards one of the um, one of the sides of the ring, and the character model just kept glitching up the rope and up into up space. Into space like, yeah, it's oh, just gone. Right, yeah. It's wonderful. Um, oh dear! Holy shit! I mean, yeah. Obviously, this uh, this is a little bit controversial, but do you think that? Firstly, uh, spending full price money on a 2K game at this point, um, <laughs> aka the devil, coupled with um, buying the latest release in the WWE franchise, a franchise that um, makes FIFA look like it's had groundbreaking progression from uh, from year to year. Just, this, yeah. this thing looks the same as it did like 12 years ago. It's, Nothing has changed. I don't I understand mean, why anyone I, I would I get be... it's a yearly cycle and it's part yeah. of a franchise, so there's a lot of pressure to get this game out every year with like the new roster <laughs> or whatever. And I'm sure people making these games are like, oh, for fuck's sake, please can we just change this or do something to it? Uh, and I'm sure there's people pitching ideas like, look, we could do this, this and this, but I don't know. I don't know who's shutting it down or or what. But yeah, like like we're saying, this thing is a complete fucking mess. And Go and design a wrestling it's... roulette wheel rather than uh, improving the... <laughs> Yeah, it's I just it's shocking, I just don't know. I, I feel sorry <laughs> for anyone that's bought this and also the people making these games. <laughs> that's a new fucking Nadir that. Like yeah. we feel sorry for the developers of the game because they clearly don't they clearly know it's shit house. They, they probably don't want to make to. it anymore. Yeah. And uh, they keep they keep sharting it out yeah, year on pretty year. Pretty much. Year. Yeah, they're like, oh, fuck it. No one cares, really, no. do they? <laughs> and it's true. I don't think anyone does care. But still, you shouldn't be releasing games in this state, in this day and age. It's, no. it's atrocious. It's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just true colours of 2K, frankly. Well, but, yeah, uh, you're right. Go and get that money up, buddy. Yep. Gibbon, they love it. They love money. Uh, we move on. Number two. Um, two point hospital uh, has been delayed on uh, consoles until the first half of 2020 it's just not quite there yet apparently um that's fine i can yeah that's cool i'm it looking forward really to buying good. that game yeah definitely <laughs> yeah. i, I want to play that game and yeah if it doesn't come out until then that's fine i'm in no rush for it so cool you can pick up on PC already, of course, but... Uh, yeah, true, you know, I could. And if, you've, if you've got a PC, that's probably the platform to play it on uh, mm. as a sort of isometric... Uh, so you're saying I should buy it, game. yeah? Okay. Uh, if you want to, buddy. <laughs> uh, but I, I I am willing to uh, to wait for that to come to. Um, the consoles... I can't help but think that it's the sort of thing that Microsoft would lap up for Game Pass as well. So no, we'll, no, that's what I'm kind of waiting for, to be honest. We shall see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but either way, uh, yeah, been delayed sort of six months or so, and I suppose that's all right. Uh, we move on. Uh, we move on to this, which is funny. Uh, Yay! This, I, I mean, this is a little bit older, this news, but uh, obviously we had a week off, so I thought I'd include a few bits and pieces from the week before. Um, Fallout 76, uh, which is a game that does exist. I'd forgotten that it existed. No, it's, um, it's, it's a game, buddy. It's there. It does exist. Yeah. Um, Get obviously, you know, in the news heavily because of the Outer Worlds and uh, how much 
better a game that is than mm. Fallout 76. Um, unfair to compare the two, Fallout 76 being an online game. Um, controversial for me there, but that's the way it is, frankly. <laughs> um, Fallout 76 gets a £12 a month subscription, or uh, £100 a year, $100 a year, if you want to buy it outright. Uh, it's a subscription service called Fallout First, um, which is uh, just got a series of bits and pieces that you get additionally uh, if you're a Fallout 76 player. This includes uh, unlimited storage in your bases, um, currency, like a monthly quota of of fucking microtransaction currency, uh, just all of like the worst things ever uh, for games. Uh, yeah. Which, you can buy you can buy a subscription for on a game that um, Bethesda promised that would include sort of NPCs and quests by this point, uh, which has been delayed until next year. So oh. to, to bring this out now, but when, hey, give us your money. Just just you give us your money. Fixed, you haven't fixed the base game no. that was shit. And that if it was is, fixed, would not, still not be was, a shit but game. it is is present. Yeah. It's toilet and. Even if it was, even if there weren't any bugs in it, it would still be toilet because it's devoid of content um, and quests and the things that make Bethesda games good. Um, then you delay all of that content that you promise, which you announce at your Bethesda E3 conference. So probably the grandest stage you can announce it on, seeing as it's your fucking show. Uh, delay that to 2020 and then <laughs> announce a subscription service you, that, that you would frankly have to be fucking insane uh, to, to pay them. Like, literally insane. Like, they should use it as a test. Like, are you subscribed to Fallout First? You need to be sectioned. We can well take done. you to a home. We'll Congratulations. find you somewhere with Welcome a to your room. world. You can, we, we'll world call world. it the wasteland for you. You can mooch <laughs> about in there to your heart's content. Um, and you can post coins through the fucking door where your food comes in. Um, and, you know, you can pretend that you're buying supplies or you've got infinite storage. That's absolutely fine for you. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Um, things to things to note since uh, Fallout First was announced and launched. Um, uh, it broke the Epic Store. When it when it was not it didn't Brilliant. work properly. You couldn't, couldn't do anything. Um, players who bought it, are spo- who were supposed to have infinite storage at their bases, everything that they were adding to the storage lockers in their bases was being deleted. <laughs> so rather than having infinite storage, they had uh, they did have infinite storage in that they had everything no items. deleted. <laughs> Feed things to the storage is gone. Yeah, it's gone. Cool. There nice. you go. Right. Uh, too too many bugs to even talk about here. Uh, just how far Bethesda has fallen, and for them to, I just, I, I don't know what they're thinking to announce this, uh, at which which they did the week that the Outer Worlds came out. Uh, they announced this uh, to, I don't to know. favorable reviews. They announce a subscription service for a game that is shit and broken. Um, this is a this is a fucking developer that needed to invest. In a new game engine about yes. eight years ago, and they've been dining off of their old shit one ever since. They weren't willing to invest in a new engine. I believe that that is at the root of most of their problems, and they are getting exactly what they deserve. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm totally all for it, buddy. Fuck those guys. Gibbons. So there you are. Um, yeah. If you want to, if you want to spend that, it's twelve pounds a month on uh, on Fallout First. Yeah, so, uh, enjoy. Uh, other things, little tidbits for you. Uh, Last of Us 2 has been delayed till May 2020. That's fucking annoying. I was really excited to play that this year. That was going to be the birthday game. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been delayed. Um, Death Stranding is confirmed for PC. Uh, that is coming out next summer on PC, uh, as well as uh, coming out relatively soon on PS4, and I'm very excited for that. Um, elsewhere. Xbox All Access users will be able to upgrade to Project Scarlet. Um, so uh, All Access is, of course, the sort of mobile phone-esque subscription service with Microsoft yeah. where uh, they threw in a console with Game Pass and Gold and you pay, I don't know, £25 a month, whatever, um, to pay for it over a, either a 12-month or an 18-month period. Um this is going to be some sort of upgrade program where you can transition from one contract to another. Uh, S users... Uh, will be tied to an 18-month deal because that's what they've been on previously. Uh, yep. X users, a 12-month deal. There will be a £15 upgrade fee and then uh, who knows what the actual payments will look like. But it's still nice to think that people who've gone in on buying a console buy this like monthly method uh, of you know 
upgrading like they do a phone kind of thing. Um, yeah, that is an, an option nice. that Microsoft have sensibly put in place. And uh, yeah, I don't know how much yeah. that is going to cost, but what do no, you think? No, that, that, that's the thing. It's an unknown cost into what you're going to be paying for Project Scarlet. Um, so with the X, I believe it's about 24, 25 pounds a month. So you think yeah. over, you know, over 12 months, that's what, well, say 25 pounds a month. Like three, 300 quid a year. 300 quid a year. So that's, that's pretty much going to buy you an Xbox One X. Uh, and yeah. this also includes uh, Game Pass Ultimate, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, so you, you know you've so got all the you, you got all your subscription included. fees you've got gold and stuff, for fifty yeah, quid on exactly. top. So, um, and then Game Pass is you know it's nine pound a month or whatever. So uh, yeah, eight, so eight I mean, all in all, that that's not a bad deal. Um, the only shit thing, really, I think, um, obviously, you have to pay that fifteen pounds uh, upgrade fee, and you have to give back your Xbox One S or X when you upgrade to the new one. Yes, you do. So you've literally been paying three hundred pounds for the ability to use this item. To same lease as a phone it, when say. you trade that in. Same as a car if you take out a, a monthly. But price I never, on a car. I never trade my phone at the end of yeah, the term. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's, it's the way of the world at this point, isn't it? And um, I, I don't like that either. But no, that's only if you trade in your phone, though, isn't it? Like you don't have to. Like at the end of your contract. Like that phone's you yours. You own the phone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably the car the model is the one it's most likely. Yeah, to, it's to more your cars mirror. and stuff like that. Um, and I, I've never, I understand it because things depreciate in value. That's why I'll never buy a brand new car. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I still think that that's a, that's a bit shitty. That you don't have. I mean, yeah, you're getting the new box, but then obviously, how many months are you tied into that one, paying for that for? You know, yeah, uh, well, it depends how long you've been but, paying for the existing one as well, though, doesn't it? Well, it's a minimum of 12 months. You have to. You have to. And it's a minimum of 18 months for the S users. Oh, you, so you have to have paid that many. Yes, you have to pay that many installments to, before to you upgrade. upgrade. It's not okay. a case of uh, whenever you want to do it, you can do it. Um, I think that's fair. Yeah, no, I, I think it's fair. And, you know, it's giving people another way of getting consoles, which, you know, previously wasn't there. And I think that's that's fantastic. I just think it's a bit bit of a shitty way of, you know, getting the upgrade and not keeping your old one. I think that, like, what's the fucking... Like, are they going to sell... Who's going to get these Xbox One S's and X's? Like, where are they going to go? Like... Uh, they, you know, Microsoft could could sell them however they wanted. They could sell yeah, them... Yeah, uh, totally true. Like, they, they could refurbish them and sell them on as refurbished consoles and stuff. Obviously, they're going to get, yeah, like you say, more money. And that also, way, but... it's it's not the same as it used to be in the in the sort of support side of things either. You know, if, if Scarlet comes out and can play everything your old console could play... Yeah, obviously, your, that, that's fine. All of your fine. subscription so, you know, services and all your digital purchases, you know, you, you, you don't need the old system. No, anymore. that's true. But there was, there, there was um, rumours about the PS5 not having that backwards compatibility at launch I no think, last and that's week. absolutely right and i'm like a guarantee oh, that will happen that's freaking me out a little bit i mean well obviously well, it's just I'll a reason not to go go for straight it straight in yeah i know but you know what we're like buddy we get all keen and you know antsy in our pants well, when we get that maple syrup in us we're uh by the time that <laughs> thing comes out we're going to be almost a decade older than the last time we fell foul of this particular decision so uh, but i'm still an idiot so nothing's uh, changed still an idiot and we've probably all got more money than we had <laughs> yeah, last exactly. time as well so, so yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> we we'll, shall see we'll see what but happens anyway but the thing yeah. with that is the is the wheel town aspects i think yeah like totally obviously bring a new console out that i can't plug my wheel into natively and i won't buy it not straight um, away anyway and, you know yeah. That's, that's the way it is. Anyway, off topic. Yeah. Um, no, I, th- I think it's a, a great idea. Um, but it could be better, I think. But yeah. Given. Uh, elsewhere, what else we've got? A couple more things. Ubisoft announces plans to fix a Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, another game that I forgot exists, uh, even though it only came out a month ago. Yeah, uh, that it, thing's bombed. Ubisoft released a statement. Um, I have to say, uh, This is a pretty galling thing to say. Uh, This is a quote, direct quote. Ubisoft says, uh, they are working on a more radical and immersive version. Now, I don't know if it's just me who's got a problem with that. But (laughs) 
That really does sound a lot like you released a piece of shit. This this thing is and wank, and we need to change it. it drastically. And then we're like, yeah, we're going to make it a new game um, yeah. from this game now. It's going to be uh, more radical. So yeah, it's I'm gonna be a, a thinking skateboards. Version. Apparently, buddy, that's uh, acceptable over a month after the launch of a game. But, I know. Uh, well, that thing's hit sales um, immediately, as most games do, to be honest, these days. So that that's nothing really new there. But, no. I mean, what was it they reported it's going to be? Uh, because obviously they, they've got all those delays on everything. Every oh, other share game. prices. The, the, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like a 800 million euro or dollar loss. This, they fucked it yeah, hard. It's, um, it's not gone well. Bombed in the stocks. Um, yeah. It's it's crazy. Like they've took a massive. Everything hit. has been pushed back. Watch dogs. Yeah, everything's Rainbow missing. Six even shit. even like Q4. Know. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's getting pushed. Well, yeah, no. bad times for Ubisoft. Oh well, seems to be. Yeah, but I um, really had high hopes for you. Play Plus, buddy. Yeah, I know. I thought I know that was going to sell one of the leading really advocates well. Advocates of uh, of that, and uh, obviously, I was like desperately excited about uh, yeah playing all the, the Ubisoft Dogs. games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. Like thanks. fuck. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there we are. Um, finally, from me, EA is returning to Steam. That's right, uninstall Origin. Um, yeah, returning to Steam. Starting with Jedi Fallen Order, you will be able to buy EA games on Steam again. They will also be making a version of EA Access available on Steam. Uh, they're currently working on getting the back catalogue on there, and uh, they also confirm there won't be a new battle game, next, uh, Battlefield game next year. So, thanks very much. All good news, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you are. Oh, um, yeah, news. no, that, that's. Yeah, I mean, I just hope that all my EA games that I bought on Origin transfer over to Steam. I don't know if that's... Doubt it. Yeah, probably not. So I have to keep Origin if I want to play The Sims 4 or Sim City. Yep. Or Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Yep. I'm trying to think of other games that are on there, but I can't. That's probably about it. That's about it. Titan so yeah, that's my news, buddy. Um, I suppose we should probably move on. Yeah, Gibbons, because I got shit on. And now it's time for Out This Week. Let's take a look at some games coming out this week. Probably filled with microtransactions, the crazy pay to win mechanics. Because fuck you all. It's fuck you And that's out this week. Yeah. Sure is, buddy. Uh, there's quite a lot out this week. And also, we've got PS Plus and Games for Gold, which uh, I've, I find much less exciting these days, although <laughs> I'm still tucking into and will be the show at 19 and having a fucking oh, lovely yeah. time doing so. Nice. Um, this month's PS Plus, or rather November's PS Plus, uh, Neo, and that's not to be confused with Nia. Um, yeah, different and, games. Uh, yeah, and Outlast Two. What do you make of those two? Sure, Outlast Two. I won't play that. Um, Neo. I probably won't play that. I but probably will. I I don't know. I want to, but I won't. It's it, a lot of thing. A lot of games on Game Pass happen like that. Like, uh, what was that Android game? Fucking. That one. You're an android dude trying to save the world. We played the demo. The guy made that other game uh, that was also shit. Heavy Rain. Oh, yeah. That game, whatever it is. I, Detroit. I, Detroit Become Human. Yeah, that's the one. Well done, buddy. Uh, I want to I play that. I'm not going to, though. I don't want to play that. I want to play it. But I'm I, not gonna. I played uh, I played an hour of that, and uh, now I don't want to play that. Well, yeah, that's, that's true. just how I feel about it. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's it's one of those things. I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be nice, and then never happens. But yeah, no, I think I think they're, they're they're good games. Like they're they're not bad games to get on there. No, it's all right. I think yeah. the, the difference between us is that you play a lot of sort of um, 
you play online games during the week and I don't and that means that I kind of have a bit more time to, to, to play offline stuff um, True. and try out bullshit more than <laughs> <laughs> um, for better or worse but uh, yeah I'll probably give Neo a go and I probably also will bottle it on Outlast uh, same as you buddy yeah uh, in terms of games for gold on Xbox uh, this is God. pretty fucking shit yeah, it's pretty uh, impressive isn't it Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter uh, which um, I think it's been on Game Pass because I've definitely played it and f- like fuck would I have bought that thing unless there was a demo <laughs> um, it's, it's rubbish um, Joyride Turbo which is a good game actually um, oh. Final Station which is a meh game and Star Wars Jedi Starfighter which is a, an Xbox Originals game um, yay there you are. This game's for gold, buddy. Yeah. It's all about Game Pass these days. Um, it is all about Game Pass these days. Worth noting that I've got um, the follow-up to Oxenfree After Party installed as well on my... Uh, on my I just haven't got to it yet, but uh, I will be playing through that and talking about it next week, which I'm quite Nice, buddy. For. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed Oxenfree. It was cool. I think That's I was great. the one that told you to do that. You're Fairly. right. You're absolutely oh, right. Yeah. You uh, you saw it on Kickstarter before uh, the thing was even made. I did, did and, uh, I? It looked like wow. an interesting bit of kit, and you were right. It was uh, it was a good fun game that I enjoyed. There it. you go. I forgot about Kickstarter. That's a thing yeah. that exists. There you are. Fuck Still me. does. Yeah. Wow. Right. Uh, games <laughs> that are actually coming out, coming out, rather than part of uh, your subscription services, aka free games. Um, we've got uh, Just Dance 2020 coming to PS4, Xbox One, Switch, Wii. Sweet. Oh, get on the Wii. Mate, we've gone over this before, I think, didn't I? Yeah. About how and, the Wii uh, is stadia. used in, like, hospitals or something. Yeah. 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 It's the best place for it um, <laughs> at this point. Uh, <laughs> we've got Mario and Sonic at the Olympics Games Tokyo 2020. Uh, yep. on Switch there you go that's uh, yeah fine um, I would play the fucking shit out of that if I had a Switch um, I'm trying to think I, I love the those shitty that? Olympics games nah, um, they used to be good but they're not anymore they're, they're really bad on 360 yeah um, it's not the same it's not the same like oh, with it was good with, this, with the Wii ones and I, I don't think I've played one on the Switch with the Wii it's a lot of shaking your hand about uh, it's not moving. You, yeah, ex- exactly. I don't want to do that. You're you're thinking of the fun times where you sit there and press buttons in different things put and the, put the controller under your under your jumper and then just rub the buttons up. Yeah, and down. you know the yeah. score. No, where yeah. this is actually get up and like shake your arms about. And, Fuck that. Yeah, no, not having it. No. Um, okay, well that's out this weekend <laughs> if you fancy it. Um, more exciting is Planet Zoo. That's yeah. out on PC this week. Uh, I wish I had a PC so that I could play Planet Zoo. Um, Planet Zoo is coming out on uh, Xbox and mm. will be on Game Pass next Hello. year, and I'm ex- very excited for that. Uh, but at this point, I-, I would like to play it. Uh, it's from the people who made Planet Coaster. It is a uh, it's Frontier Games, isn't it? And it looks great. Yeah. Uh, although. No sign of any red pandas in there, as far as I can tell. No red um, pandies. And therefore, sake. pointless. Fuck pointless that Pointless as, as fucking absolute vapor. Zero out of but ten, mate. Zero out of ten. Um, yeah. Maybe they're uh, like DLC you can buy. Maybe. Uh, buy and buy I the red pandies. The only DLC I'll ever buy. Red pandas <laughs> on Planet Zoo. Um, but yeah, we'll see on that one. Uh, not confirmed for certain yet. They haven't announced the full out mm. list, but we'll see. We'll see. Um... Red Dead Redemption 2 arrives on PC. I, I feel like that should be a bigger deal. Um, I don't know what to make of the fact that that game has just kind of fallen by the wayside. I was expecting it to be another GTA Online in terms of popularity there. Um, Maybe it is, but we just don't care about it, mate. I don't know. If that is going to happen, then it'll happen now uh, because it's out on PC. Uh, elsewhere. Can, just going to, to that with uh, Rockstar... Do you think that next year it's going to release on the PS5? Because that seems to be what they do with their games. I suppose it will, but (laughs) I don't know. I I feel like it... it, (laughs) 
it I'm hasn't very got negative. the strength. I feel very negative about Red Dead Redemption I Two. Know. I don't know why, because I thought that the I loved that game. Yeah. Um, I thought it was great. Really I mean, the shooting it. mechanics were terrible, but you know. Well, they weren't terrible. They were. They weren't good. Yeah, aka terrible. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's it, it's like it, like you say, it, it was a fantastic game. Like the environment, the story, we we fucking waffled on about that ages ago last year. Um, and yeah, it, it's like you say because it didn't uh, draw us in so much uh, as in like GTA Online. Like it, I I barely touched the online aspect of it. I, I don't know if it's I don't because know why. if it was like because it was in a beta and it wasn't working properly or, or Maybe. whatever i don't know yeah I, d- I just i just couldn't give a fuck about it to be honest i don't know why it's really weird it mm. seems like something that we'd really enjoy but uh i'm yeah. doing it at all and uh i don't want to <laughs> so anyway yeah that's coming out on ps5 uh, PS- ps5 next year probably but yeah probably P- pc, PC this, year. this year um yeah, yeah elsewhere Garfield Kart furious racing arrives on ps4 xbox one switch and pc brilliant uh, it looks it looks Fucking shit. Yeah. Um, that's coming out. Yeah. Uh, Death Stranding arrives on PS4 on yeah. the 8th of November. Look at that. Uh, it is a game that I want. Um, Disney Sum Sum Festival uh, is arrives that the, on Switch. The drumming. I didn't thing. need to tell you uh, what console that was coming well, out. Obviously. I believe it is a drumming, drumming thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, elsewhere, okay. we've got Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy Deluxe uh, Edition. On I Switch. like the Layton games; they're puzzle yeah. games. They're nice. A professor, nice little yeah. art style there. Very cartoony, lovely, lovely. Might have to get that. Uh, we've got Need for Speed Heat arriving oh. on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Yeah, that, uh, that's a game. Inevitably, be a terrible game. Um, and then new Super Lucky's Tale arrives on Switch. I'm not so new about um, it. Does it run uh, worse? Is that what's new? <laughs> it runs worse. Um, it's a completely different game. Really? Uh, it's a Super Lucky's Tale, as far as I'm aware. Okay. That's weird. Why is... Okay. So it's like they've took the franchise. Um, yeah, and just made it new, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is completely reworked. Uh, I mean, I didn't get on a tour. Probably with has to be. Tale, if I'm honest, Switch. no, me neither. It, my I'm kids tried. Even my kids tried playing that for a, an hour, and they were like, "No, nah. they gave it was up on it." Strangely and that's difficult not, for not a for cutesy kids. game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I didn't, yeah. I didn't like it, but uh, but there we are. Hey, uh, <laughs> that happened. Gibbons. Uh, oh, that's, so yeah. I guess that's, that's out this it. week. Certainly is. There you go. Every week we end the show with questions and comments sent in by you. If you've got anything for us, just pop an email to the jfgpodcast at gmail.com or contact us on Facebook, Twitter, or at justforgamers.co.uk. And now it's time for JFG Street Beat. You got a question we wanna know? Beat. Facebook, Twitter, we're on a mall. So hit us up and be on the show. Street beat. The JFG Street Beat. Mmm, Street Beat. We wanna know. Get on the show. Get on the show, indeed. Mm. Uh, and uh, little cheeky bit from Cosmic Dad here. This was um, I. I put this in to make me feel good. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, very nice of him. When he re- I felt touched. Let's Here put it go. that way. He says, uh, So I was doing some housekeeping with my podcast app and I discovered that two episodes of JFG had found their way into Download Failed. Uh, I just caught up with episode 222 and I thought up front that comparing football games would be something I could skip. But, you know, give it a go and all that. For some reason, I found Alex's opinions from the point of view of a diehard football game fan absolutely fascinating. I'm not interested in video game football at all, 
but hearing someone who is passionate about the details was absolutely riveting throughout. Brilliant stuff, guys. You have a completely unique game podcast that I very much appreciate being able to listen to. Fucking thank you so much, buddy. That means yeah. a great deal. And, it uh, did. I loved it. Yeah, I we we like, never oh. know when we disappear into our little niche holes of like football <laughs> or destiny or whatever. You never really know if anyone actually wants to hear it, but you just go with it anyway because, yeah. you know. What else are you going to do? Shenanigans. Yeah. And uh, you've got to talk about what you know. Um, that's and, um, true. Yeah. That's not a lot for me. No, <laughs> same here, buddy. But uh, <laughs> pleased to hear it. Uh, and much appreciated. Thanks Given, so much. Uh, and what else have we got? Just to finish off, we've got Just the... Just to uh, finish the- off, yeah. The Gleam.io um, Phantom Pain, which I mentioned earlier, has finished now. Um, and the winner... Uh, after me checking out his profile and making sure he does like video games. And this guy does like video games. He enters a lot of competitions, but they are all just video game related, which is something I can get behind. You want to win those games, buddy. And that is Steve... Senaric? Sincaric. There you go, Sincaric. That'll do me. Steve Sincaric, you've uh, won a copy of uh, NGS 5 Phantom Pain on PC. It's a fucking great game, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, Thanks so much to JJ for making all of this possible, of course, (laughs) as well as the creators of uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. I'd like to thank Kojima um, and uh, also uh, Jack Bauer, of course. Jack Bauer, what Uh, about Konami? uh, (laughs) Yeah, yeah, allow me to be the only person this month who thanks Konami for something. Thanks, Konami. <laughs> um, there we are. Um, hey, so, yeah, yeah. that'll uh, be a, a code winging its way over to you shortly, buddy. And uh, thanks very much for your support. Yeah. So, I think that'll about do us, buddy, for episode uh, 231. And Ooh, uh, what, what a time. Me. How yeah. many games, you know? How many games do you want? There's your games right there. Take That's that. a lot of games. Um there's not going to be many games next week. Um, I mean, we played a lot of new games over the past couple of weeks, which was pretty intense. Like, quite the golden release time there, buddy. Absolute golden release time. Um, there's several games I haven't even talked about that I have played this week and uh, ones that I'm looking forward to playing next week already, buddy. So uh, I'll be back with a vengeance. And I week. haven't I mentioned my views on PES 2020 yet. Um <laughs> No, well, maybe we can have a little chat about that next week. Um, I'm sure that uh, Cosmic Dad would be really <laughs> interested to know how, now we've picked that game up, how we're getting on with it. Yeah, um, we'll uh, we'll talk about that next time, maybe. I've also been playing Minute, which I'll uh, have a talk about next week. There you um, go. And uh, and obviously After Party from the Oxen Free guys as well. So, there you go. Uh, yeah. Happy days. Next time on the mm. JFG podcast. Yeah, tune um, in next time where we'll talk about shit. Maybe Gibbons. for less time this time, next time. Who can say? Who it's knows? impossible to tell. I mean, whatever. Who cares anyway? Right. Yeah, do or don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> sweet. Let's fuck off then. Uh, thanks so much Gibbons. for listening, buddies. Uh, we uh, will catch you next time. Uh, until then, I've been Alex. He has been Ash. Goodbye. Farewell. <laughs>You've been listening to the JFG Podcast with Ash and me, Alex. You can find us at www.thejfgpodcast.co.uk where you'll also find our Discord and Street Beat if you want to get involved with the show. Our Facebook is forward slash the JFG Podcast and our Twitter handle is at the JFG Podcast. We're on all those video streaming sites too, buddies, from ChewTube to Twitch.tv forward slash the JFG Podcast to Mixer.com, aka Beam.fuckingpro. We've got a PS4 community you can join. Just search the JFG Podcast on there. And we're also on Google Plus if that is how you choose to live your life. Thanks so much for listening, buddies. We'll catch you next time. Super